Hi, I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be talking about the new modern way to create a model-driven application inside of Power Apps. And so we're going to jump right in. We're going to use the tables that Dataverse has provided to us, the contact table and the appointment table. We're going to create a model-driven application to create an appointment. So let's go ahead and take a look at make.powerapps.com and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and I'm looking with inside of data and my tables. So this is my Dataverse database and I'm going to use the contact table. I'll scroll down here. So the contact table is a standard table created by Dataverse. So that's what we're going to be using. The other one that we're going to be using is the appointment table. Okay, so the appointment table is also a standard table created by Dataverse that we're going to take advantage of. But before we can do this, we want to go ahead and make sure that our appointment table can look up to our contact table. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of our appointment table and we're just going to add a new column. Clicking add column at the top. And I'll call this something like contact for appointment. And this is just going to be a lookup to our contact table. So I'm going to choose data type as a lookup and I'm going to choose my contact table. And click done. That's all we have to do for that. Go ahead and save your table in the bottom right hand corner. And the only other thing that we need to do is add this to our form. So all of this is very standard, just like you were creating a model driven application before. But what you're going to see is that when we create the model driven application, the modern way, we no longer have to worry about creating a site map. It does it for us in the background. So we're just going to add that column to our form. And we're just going to add in, zoom in here. So I'm just going to add in my contact for appointment here at the top. And that's all I have to do for my form. So we'll go ahead and save and publish. So all I did was I added my contact for appointment column inside my form using the ABC tab on the left. So once it's saved and published, that's all we have to do. And now we can create our model driven application. So we're going to go back to our home tab and you will see the option for a model driven app from blank. So there's two different ways that you can create a model driven application. The classic way includes um, the user creating the sitemap. So the sitemap is user created. With the modern app designer, this sitemap is going to be done for us in the background. All we have to do is point to our tables. So we're going to be using this modern app designer. It's still in preview mode, but it's pretty awesome and pretty quick um, as far as creating these model driven applications. So I'm going to select the modern app designer and click create. I'm going to give it a name, say modern app preview. and click create. So 
Traditionally, when you would create a model-driven application, you would have to go into the sitemap, configure it, point to the tables, um, and everything like that. But now, with the new modern app designer, you don't have to do that. You just point to the tables, which are going to be located on a page, and we're ready to go. And then we can modify our views and forms if we want to. So here's our model driven application. So all we have to do is add a new page up here in the upper left hand corner and then select the tables that we want to use. So I'm going to click new page. Notice I can either choose a table based view and form, which we were just modifying that form a second ago, or you can use a dashboard. We're going to be using the table based view and form. So the two tables that we're going to be bringing in are our contact table and the other table is our appointment table. And we'll click add. And you can see that it has now created the model driven application similar to what you're used to seeing um, in the old style once you're finished. So it still looks the same from the end user's perspective, but the sitemap is no longer being created by user when you're making this model driven application. So notice I have all my contacts, I have all my appointments. So I'm just going to save and publish this application. And it's ready to go. And then so once We've done that, our application is done. All we have to do is play it. So we'll go ahead and click play. So you can see that we have our appointments, we have our contacts, and so I can add a new contact here at the top if I wanted to using that view and form that is attached. Additionally, I could add a new appointment here as well by clicking the appointment button. So by default, they're going to have access to all of the views. So notice uh, my appointments, all appointments. These are all the different um, views we have available. Same thing with contacts, my active contracts. All these are a list of views that we can look at. So if you want to modify that, what you would do is on the left hand side, you're going to select the paper icon. And then you're going to find your view and form from within the drop down. So for instance, if I go to appointment and select the appointment form, I can then manage the forms that they have access to on the right hand side. So we were talking about the views, same thing with the views. We can manage the views over here on the right hand side. And so I can search for the views that I want them to use. So I can click save. So I'm going to just change that. Obviously you can do that for the contact table as well. We'll save and publish this. And now inside of my appointment table, they should only see the all appointments view. Give this a quick refresh. And notice now the only view that I have available to me is the all appointments view. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. As you can see, this new modern app designer for the model driven application is super awesome. It eliminates the need to create that sitemap. It does it for us in the background. All we have to do is select our tables and then we can manage our views and forms. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.